Hello, you guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing awesome and amazing. Happy Monday to you guys. Yeah, I know it's the beginning of the week. And we're going to get right into it, see what's going on. But first, you guys, y'all drop in the comments for me. Um, Who did you make smile today? Let's see. Let's, we're going to switch it up. Who did you make smile? Uh, who made you smile or what made you smile? Who made you smile today? Yeah. Look, thinking of something new. Do something new. You could be grown. You're about to get some type of wish fulfillment. You're no longer letting fear stop you here. But somebody don't feel safe because you got something new coming towards to you. Accelerated motion for you, collective. You're moving forward. And this is scaring somebody. That you're leaving them behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you release somebody. You said intentions to release someone. Who could have been affecting you physically. Somebody may even be physically, physically can't breathe. Somebody do some breathing work. Somebody needs to work on their spiritual well-being as well. Somebody stressed the hell out because you are spiritual. I'm picking up on somebody that's trying to figure out, trying to figure you out, like, what religion are you or something? Yeah, what what type, what, what do you believe in or what what is your religious, religious background or are you spiritual or something like that? Somebody, I don't know, this is somebody that you was being nice to. Or they were trying to come towards you and be nice. Yeah, but you you had to show them that you were, were not nothing to play with because somebody, uh, they see that you're succeeding in whatever it is you're doing, you're moving forward. So they want you to fail is what I'm getting. Or they're trying to make you, they're trying to see how they can, like, counter accept or intercept something. I don't know, this is a real life hater that wants you to fail at whatever you're succeeding in, collective. Somebody could be secretly watching you from like different platforms or just watching you in general. Somebody's watching your growth. And whoever this person is, they could have like been willing to sacrifice themselves just to see how powerful you are or just to see. What's your source is what I'm getting. Yeah, so they could have did something like forbidden is what I'm getting. Um, yeah, somebody's trying to figure out your religion or your what your spirituality is. Somebody's real controlling. But I'm getting like, you could have mastered some type of manipulation that somebody, you know, some manipulative tactic somebody was trying to do on you. And you are influencer. Somebody thought they were going to influence you or control you. They thought they were going to be able to manipulate you into doing something. I'm getting Freemason. The order of women Freemason, Freemasons or some shit. Or Freemason every four women. And Eastern Star. I don't know if it's all the same, but that's what I'm getting. Somebody about the Freemasons. Somebody either was trying to get in this group or these Freemasons been trying to check you out or uh, these Eastern Stars, whatever they are. They've been trying to figure out your religion because I think you got to be like some type of religion to even join that group. I don't know if they're trying to manipulate you into join the, joining their group or they're just trying to find out information about you. Something like that, collective. Some secret society sent somebody out. April, May, June, July. If he or she had you, but they don't now. Or I mean, if he or she had you, but they don't. No more, that's their loss. Yeah, somebody was trying to control you. Somebody didn't want you to let them go here. Yeah. Somebody, uh was trying to send you weak thoughts, but that shit backfired. So, April, May, June, July could be significant. Something about 
uh, fire and water. Fire and water signs could have been trying to keep you stuck or something. Somebody thought you were weak. Yeah, somebody could have been projected some type of weak thoughts to you, trying to make you feel uh, in lack of confidence. They want you to be shy, um, lack of knowledge. Somebody could have said that you were, you know, you were not knowledgeable. Uh, they wanted you to be afraid to speak publicly or speak out to speak your truth or something like that. But you were not scared this time. You spoke your truth. And you let these people know that you know what that what the hell they're doing. You know exactly the plan. Yeah, all that shit backfired. Self-criticism. Somebody wanted you to be like critical, like self-sabotage yourself. But I'm getting like, somebody could have been doing something to you repetitively. But, uh, yeah, to keep you isolated. Look, I'm telling you something about your religion. So, so this religious group, it could be a church. Yeah, you released the beast on their ass. They would, they was like they were poking you and poking you. They thought you were weak. But they realized that you're not weak. They thought, you know, they thought you were weak-minded. Maybe they thought that you were the weakest link. You know, you by yourself or whatever. Yeah, because you're isolated or whatever here. You're in hermit mode. But there's an isolated religious group that prefers to be in solitude that's watching you. And they watched you release this beast. So, uh, this could be a priest or priestess. That's watching you. Yeah, they did something forbidden. Try to access your Akashic records. Try to access some type of knowledge. This person was trying to gatekeep and oversee your acoustic records your your uh whatever that's owed to you collective and it was improper so either you release this beast or this beast that's protecting you yeah look a family member is secretly protecting you this beast is protecting you and your lineage yeah they ain't playing no games they, they said act like you know yeah act like an owner you own something you getting your flowers you hear me because your awareness, awareness of peace, heart, dreams, yeah, all you want is peace is what I'm getting. And your interconnectedness and your heart, yeah, you getting whatever you were hoping and dreaming for. They were trying to take this. Somebody wants you to feel like you lost something or they thought they were going to take something from you. But uh, that's a no It could be an Aries, a Taurus, a Cancer. Somebody been planning this since April, May, June, July. A karmic tarot reader is confused. They think they're divine. This person thinks they're divine. They don't have to be a tarot reader. Yeah, they took an oath here. Like I said, they in some type of Freemason area. Or they want to be in some type of secret society group, online, whatever. I don't know. Seven could be significant. You could be a life path seven. Uh, cleverness. Somebody thought they were clever. Somebody was promised here. This karmic was promised to get some type of... Well, they promised this group. They took an oath that they could get some type of wisdom from you. That they could be clever and they could come in and act as if they were your your friend or, uh, you know, Conrad, whatever. Yeah, to keep you stuck. Like a statue. They did this in the past. We got history. They had you stuck in the past and they took your power. They most definitely did. They could have looked. Someone thinks you're doing magic on them. You ain't do no magic on them. Someone thinks you were doing magic on them. So somebody told them in the past to keep you stuck that you did magic on them. You may have did magic on them in the back in the in the past life. That's what kept you stuck. That's what made you lose your power or whatever. Yeah, somebody sent something to your room or your house or your apartment, your space or something like that. Yeah, that remind me. I seen a cat go under my bed. My bed is it's like one of those high beds that sit up off the ground. So you can like, my kids literally, they play up on it. They hide under there, whatever. 
I seen a cat going under my bed and it was just sitting there. Either the cat means somebody's trying to invade my space or protection. Take it how it resonates. You know, I, I seen the cat. It was a black fluffy cat. And it may have like a little bit of brown little spots. Yeah. And then I thought I seen somebody coming out of my bathroom. So, yeah. <laughs> somebody was trying to ask your travel and spy and see what was going on. Yeah, but somebody go get their ass tossed up playing. Yeah, they was trying to conjure up something to attach. It's crazy. Like, somebody come in, they say they oh, they want to be attached to you, but they trying to make you go through it. Look, that's, that's the whole point right here. These people got mental health issues. They trying to attach themselves to you and your wills, but they want you to, to pass, collected. So, guess what? What? What they think gonna happen to them? They need somebody could be going through a mental health crisis, yeah. Because all that magic, look, all this obia, whatever it is, it done backfired. It done backfired. Yeah. Live TV show taping action. Look, looking into your origin, your parents, your ancestors. I'm telling you, try to control something. They could have been doing a lot of root magic. But yeah, you, you cured something. Father of miracles here. Resurrection. Sleeping with the enemy. Yeah, this could be your child's father or somebody. They could be working together with your father, with your family. Take it how it resonates. Damn, all the months want to come out. January, February, March. April, May, June, July. They've been working hard for the last six, seven months prior to this. To this equinox is what I'm getting. To this full moon. This harvest moon. Mm -hmm. Somebody's confused. Damn, the rest of the months came out. August, September, October, November, December. Look. August. That shit was returned to sender. You hear me? Returned to sender times 10. Yeah, look, I told somebody was creeping and lurking and shit, waiting to do something bad, but you cleansed your space. Yeah, when you cleanse your space, that shit returned to sender. Somebody could have been trying to uh, snoop on you since August. Yeah, they see you've been healing. You've been rejuvenating here. Move your body and get some rest collected. You can rest. Because whatever they got going on, that's on them. They were warned. I'm here. you've been warned. You have, you have, whoever, they have been warned. August was that last time. Autumn, yeah. And autumn. I can't get the cards out. Somebody stuck. Y'all can't get the cards out. <laughs> they stuck. I mean, they wanted you to be so stuck. Yeah, they go back to that triangle too. Yeah. How about that triangle? Your connectedness. Now somebody want to partner up. Because they see you a fortune teller. Something you said. Oh, we got their ass in the uproar. Something you said. What's this August, May, June, July? Clarify what they were doing August, May, in June or July. Somebody's real practical. Okay, so it's the Leo here. A Leo or somebody that was real practical was trying to cause some type of disturbance. They were desiring here to cause some type of disturbance to your eternal love or your soulmate connection or just your soul family. Take it how it resonates. They were desiring to to um, irritate you. And now somebody's worried because they promised when they partnered up with these uh, people here that they thought some, a faded event was going to happen. Like you would go blind and get blocked. That was the plan. They worked real hard for that shit. But hey, you still get some type of blessing. They wanted your blessing. Look, if they are fighting, they're conflicted. 
because you still getting your blessings and they worked hard they've been working hard for the last six seven eight months to gain your blessing collective yeah Ooh, they feel overloaded somebody here is uh they feel obligated they feel overwhelmed here because of the excessiveness of working hard on your self-esteem, your self-worth, and your ego. Somebody wants you to, I don't, I don't know, honey. They want you to fumble on the play. You hear me? Somebody wanted to bring you down the sides because they feel like uh, you a boss and they a worker, bitch. Yeah, you make money moves or something. Shit, look, that was the plan. Yeah, the prediction. I told you, you predicted what they were planning. Yeah, you could be a, a mind reader here. I could say a mirage. A mirage is what? Like a, a illusion. Right. You predicted the illusion. Yeah, you got evidence here. Proof. Somebody went investigating. And they see that you got pure energy. You, you just, your pure goodness here. But now they want to apologize. For plotting and planning and teaming up to steal. Your fortune, your blessings, your sweet love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this false person feels inadequate now. They being controlled by a demon. They being controlled by an entity here. Yeah, you got good news. And somebody feels uh, like a castaway. Yeah, because they were ready. They thought, somebody homeless here thought they were going to get some type of good news and control you and be fake. And they could even pr try to uh, protest to get your attention to marry them or something like that. Take it out, resonate. Yeah, that was the plan so they could take from you or rob you, rob from you, steal from you, I mean. I'm hearing incantation. Unfairness. Incantation. Somebody trying to do some type of incantation spell too. Something about your third eye. Somebody was trying to make you weak. Your third eye weak. Yeah. Your, your third eye. Shit, your root. Your solar plexus. Your sacral. Yeah, somebody was trying to make you weak, sick. Because they don't have you anymore. This could be any karmics, any relationship that you let go of people. Uh, I mean, of course, people, but like uh, family, friends, uh, whoever, lovers, they're mad. Because they didn't want to let you go. Yeah, you, you lost, you let them go, they lost. And they were not willing to let you go, honey, without a fight. They felt weak without you around, so they needed you. Somebody thought you were weak because you were by yourself or something. Yeah. Inadequate. They thought you were inadequate here. Yeah, so they were trying to plan and manage and organize a way to save. Somebody been saving a lot, too. Trying to get some type of money. It's being real mean to you, collective. And you got evidence. Yeah, that somebody was trying to cause challenges and blockages here. So they could steal from you and curse you or hex you. Whoever this person is, they really hate you. So they wanted you to be confined. Like I said, an incantation spell or whatever. I don't know what the hell. You had a third wheel here. <laughs> Somebody mad because your soulmate coming towards you. Somebody mad because they... You seen through the power that they were not your soulmate. Nobody else mad because you seen that they were fake friends and they're not your soul tribe and all kind of shit. So you just got like a lot of people attacking you because they feel like you're by yourself. You're in isolation or I don't know. They thought that you were, you know, going to sit back and let them do what they do to you and you just going to take it. They thought you were weak here. Yeah. Thought you were weak. Thought you were weak minded. But you, you're never alone. Not at all. 
<laughs> what I tell you, that shit done backfired on them. All they is, they know they weak now. They all sick. They are mentally conflicted. They're mentally ill, of course. Yeah. They sick that you got that knowledge. Or you, you know, whatever. They sick that you got, somebody sick that they got coached to try to come up against you. Mm-hmm. But like I said, somebody was in their ego. They were willing to sacrifice themselves. But now they made for whatever they were praying for. Yeah, because they getting karma here. Yeah, for planning to try to take you out or attach something to you or steal from you. Whatever they were trying to do. All of it was a fail. It was a no-go. What is this? Weak thoughts in reverse. Weak thoughts in reverse. Investigation. Yeah, somebody went investigating on a terror reader um, to try to cause some type of vision problems. Like I said, they were trying to block your third eye here. They teamed up. They were working together with friends. Yeah. And now they fight because they thought they were going to get some type of wish fulfillment. Somebody is mad because you take care of yourself. You are enlightened. Yeah, you got eternal love for yourself. Now somebody want to reconcile and compromise. Yeah, because they see you having sweet dreams. You're satisfied. Yeah, somebody tried to make you like be lazy or keep you in a bed, keep you weak or whatever, but you still get up and teach or coach or go to work or be an influencer, whatever you're doing. This pissing somebody the hell off, you hear me, because you're a sweetheart. Yeah, and you're, you're right when you're talking about this magic of these ceremonies that people are doing and praying to um, whoever they're praying to to trap people and cause some type of endings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you were prepared for this. You were ready. You done lived and learned about what they've been doing. And um, it's the online community here that's, uh, that's watching you. It's online. Oh, somebody was online training here, was getting ready. So they were stalking you online. Like I said, somebody watching you online, different platforms, to see how they can cause you an ending. Yeah, to trap you. Somebody, I'm in death trap. Yeah, so somebody made a vow or something, honey. Or took an oath or whatever they did, honey. Yeah, get this magic ceremony doing, going. Yeah, because somebody thought they were going to get your wealth, your luck, your inheritance, your keys. They thought they were going to drive your car down your path. Yeah, they collabed up to do this. To cause some type of disturbance to your self-love, your self-healing. Because the, the, the word, the main word of the day is self. They think that you're by yourself, so you know... They want to do all this shit. So they promised that they could take you out and all that because you're by yourself. You know, the physical, but in the spiritual, yeah. Yeah, you're a beast. I ain't know that. Mm -hmm. But they found out today. Yeah. Yeah, they found out today in the underworld. Yeah. The underworld, look, the underworld, they love you. You hear me? You got love and partnerships. From the un the people, man, yeah, it is what it is. Who is this? We got Virgo. We got the moon energy. I'm finna shift and change and coming to the light. Who is this group of people doing this magic? Everybody, who's doing this magic? Who's doing this magic? Mm, okay. Yeah, somebody trying to do magic on your connections and shit. We got Taurus. We got Capricorn. We got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. That's all of Earth. Libra. Yeah, they get exposed. Sagittarius. Sun, it's coming out. 
And then Aries and Leo was popping out too. I told you something about some fire and water though. But it's fire and air. I mean, fire and earth. Gemini. So it was a Virgo, a Taurus, a Libra, a Gemini, a Capricorn, and a Sagittarius here. <clears throat> Aries and Leo came out kind of. But we got Pisces and then we got Leo. Okay, so we got Virgo, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Leo. These are people could have been trying to sacrifice. Oh, somebody, or these are the people you let go and they want to team up against you. Take it how it resonates. But that's what I have for you guys. I'm going to end it right there. You guys, I'm going to love you to life.